So I have two dogs that are sisters and not just because they're both my dogs so they become sisters but they're actually literally blood sisters. They are not litter mates but they have the exact same mom and dad. Now if you were considering getting a second dog after watching this video that I recently posted you might be thinking that if you get another dog from the same parents you're basically going to get the same wonderful dog that you got the first time. Well I'm here to tell you that that is not always the case. While my two Goldens definitely act a lot alike and they look very very similar their personalities are also very very different so in this video I'm going to share how different my two dogs are and letting you know what their personalities are like if you're new to the channel my two and a half year old is Larcy she is the darker one and my one almost one and a half year old is Koba J she's the lighter one now let's talk about how they are different so Larcy, my two-year-old, wanted to be cuddled like a baby. She also has this specific spot on the side of the couch that is her spot. She gets very upset if you are in her spot or if her sister is in her spot. She likes to lean. She's a huge leaner. Loves to lean into people whenever they are giving her attention. Larcy will literally frog hop into you if you are not close enough to her. Larcy is obsessed with fetch and more so obsessed with her ball. Her blue play ball, which if you've been watching, you know is the absolute love of her life. Mom and dad are here. Her ball is right here. She is obsessed with this thing. This thing is always within like three to five feet of her at any given time. Usually it's in her mouth, but it's always within reach, always close to her. And then she does have her backup ones if that one is, for whatever reason, is not available. But I've never seen a dog so ball obsessed in my life. And honestly, because she is so ball obsessed, I just kind of assumed that our second one was also going to be the same way. Larcy is is genuinely the sweetest dog I've ever met in my life and I'm not just saying that because she's my dog and everyone that meets her the one consistent thing that I always hear people say about her is how sweet she is she really is such a sweetheart she's very nice she's too nice way too nice when it comes to her sister she will not fight back she will not do anything she will let her sister get away with whatever she wants and she will cower over to her Larcy has always loved car rides. She loves going into the car. She's never gotten car sick, never had any issues with it. If you ask her if she wants to go for a car ride, she is there. Head out the window, getting sniffies, has a great time. Larcy was also much easier to train than Koba. I mean, Koba J definitely learned things from her sister, which is really helpful, but just in general, I think Larcy kind of clicked and caught on to things more quickly than Koba did. Larcy also has been more obedient. She likes to burp. She burps a lot and she also farts quite a bit. It's so funny when she does fart because she'll immediately get offended by it. She'll fart, she'll turn her head around. Like no idea where that came from, no idea what's going on. And if you do it in front of her, she is the biggest tattletale in the world. Goes straight to you, points it out, wants the whole world to know that she knows that that's what happened. If they missed it, she will make sure that they are caught back up. Initially, we did not let Larcy sleep with us. She was sleeping in the crate at night. I went into this saying that I'm never gonna be the person that lets their dog sleep with them. That did not last long. And if you've been following us for a while, you know how that whole situation kind of ended up happening. Always wanted to be spooning. If she was not spooning, she was not happy. That's how she would fall asleep. Literally, she would fall asleep being spooned by me and I loved it. I am on this much of the bed and my husband is on this much of the bed sprawled out doing whatever he wants. Wouldn't change it for anything. Now she doesn't spoon as much. She has this new thing where she wants to be right up against my head. She literally puts her head on my shoulder and that's how she likes to fall asleep. Now Koba J, the one-year-old, the lighter one, she refuses to push the potty bell. She hates it. She gets very upset when daddy asks her to go push. She will like put her tail between her legs and come hide behind me. I don't know what it is about that bell, but she will not push it. So we have the Mighty Paw Smart Bell. It's just like a little round circle that we stuck in the doorway so that when they have to go potty, we train them to, well, intended to train them to push this little button so that we could hear it anywhere throughout the house and we knew that they had to go potty. She will lift her paw for you to do it, but she will not do it herself. Koba is a big baby. They're both big babies, but Koba is is a wimp but she thinks that she's this big bad guard dog and she loves to bark at nothing but she'll be like a timid bark like she tries to act like she's all big and bad but she's a baby she also likes to growl at nothing sometimes she'll growl at her reflection in the stove which is really funny like the hair on like the back of her neck and stuff will stand up and she's like freaking out and it's literally herself it's hilarious she is absolutely the funniest dog i've ever met in my entire life she is 
hilarious to watch the things that she does is just so random and so funny just watching her is like pure entertainment if you didn't know this she is my memorial pup she is named after my brother jake jake was the funniest person i've ever met in my life he always was trying to make everyone laugh and that makes me super happy that she is also that way like carrying on the tradition of just always wanting to make people happy and laugh and kind of brighten up their day a little bit if they can she does this leg thing where when she's getting into the car or getting into anything it's always her back right leg she will lift up her leg and she'll kind of like timidly hold it there and shake and like try to put it down but she's like nervous about putting it down she's really hesitant about it koba also wants to be cuddled like a baby she was not a snuggler at all when she was a baby and that made me super sad because i wanted to cuddle her like a baby like i did with larcy now she is the biggest cuddle bug snuggle bug ever i mean they both demand attention all the time they're both very very needy but koba is literally a real life baby literally wants to be cuddled and held like a baby they're both akc canine good citizens but as of right now larcy is the only one that is a certified therapy dog when larcy and i go on therapy visits and koba's left at home with dad the two of them are just cuddling away on the couch they are like two peas in the pod koba is very curious she is like a little investigator has to go around and check everything out she is really funny because if i take her to like the dog park larcy just wants to play with her ball and play fetch the whole time and and Koba is like running around the fence, checking everything out, running the perimeter by herself. Koba is obsessed with the shower. I have no idea why, but if we cannot find her, we know that she is hiding in the shower. She loves just standing there. Even if there's not any water or anything, she loves it. If we go visit my mom, go visit grandma, she runs into the shower. I don't understand it. She definitely has little sister syndrome, as I like to say. She always antagonizes Larcy. Larcy will be playing with a toy that Koba doesn't care about. Koba doesn't even like, Koba doesn't even want, but because Larcy's playing with it, now Koba wants to play with it, Larcy will go fetch her ball, when then Koba has to go and ride her back and bite her legs or do something on her way back. She loves playing defense, and like I said, Larcy's so sweet that she, like, won't fight her back. Koba used to get car sick, which was awful. I'm so glad that she grew out of that. We couldn't even get a mile down the road without her getting sick. She had a really hard time learning to enjoy car rides because obviously she associated getting in the car with throwing up with getting sick. Koba is very timid and she always thinks that she's in trouble. She always acts like she's in trouble. She's like so afraid to make a mistake or like so afraid to do something wrong. She doesn't want to disappoint you. Koba does this thing where she randomly just sits down and stares. She's done this ever since she was a puppy. It's so cute. Or like Larcy will lay down or stare or something koba just randomly sits and observes it's super adorable she is definitely better at being groomed and i think that the reason why is because she started as a puppy right away when we got larcy everything was shut down with covid like right when she finished up all of her vaccinations so she missed like that important socialization period i mean i did stuff with her at home but obviously it's different when it's me versus a stranger they're actually both at the groomer right now while i'm filming this video that's why they're not in the video and i'm in the car waiting for them to get done koba also is a snuggle bug at night she used to want to sit up at my head like Larcy does now but now she wants to lay on top of my chest with her head right here and she wants to be pet to sleep so while both of my girls are wonderful I love them so much and I would not trade them for anything this is how different my dogs are even though they are from the same parents don't forget to like and subscribe I do post new videos every single Sunday so I hope to see you right back here next Sunday for my next video